Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on using FX Replay. Basically, over the course of the past, however long it's been now, a few months, new features have come up, new um, indicators, new everything. And so, essentially, we want to just go through everything from step by step, from creating a session, um, starting it up, taking trades, et cetera, et cetera, showing you everything new that, that uh, we added and essentially go through the analytics as well and so you guys can understand exactly what to expect with fx replay so i hope you guys are super excited for this one i sure am so let's just jump right in first let's just start off a session so just to go through the whole process of, of what it's like to actually get started okay so initial you're going to start off initially sorry by creating a session here okay you're going to type in your account balance and so these are all the new pairs that we have here, all sorted. So we have some crypto pairs, a bunch of Forex pairs, okay? We have some energies, some indices, some agriculture as well, okay? So we're gonna be keep on adding to these as well. Um, you guys just have to keep recommending and we'll keep adding and we'll ex keep growing from there, right? So essentially uh, you just choose whatever one you want. So for this example, let's do a, a Forex pair. Let's go to, um, I don't know, GBPAUD. Essentially, we're going to select the dates. So let's start by going in, I don't know, maybe 2020. Oh, I meant to say 2021. Okay, let's go from April. And we'll start off in the new week. And we'll end it where we're currently at right now. Okay, so that's going to be March the 12th. So we're a day, it gives you a day behind the, the current date of data, which is awesome, right? So you can always backtest the previous week and get really get down, um, down pat your performance okay and then you can select in your your strategy right you can create it right here you can see i have a couple right here and essentially you get to track how each perform or how one each one is performing and so on and so forth okay so let me just go into um we'll just do a random one here okay save so now this should pop up right here and essentially all you're gonna have to do is just click this play button if you want to get into the analytics or edit the session etc etc all into here okay but we're going to click the play button and it's going to take us right to the main screen so i can pull this down and yeah before you guys were wanting a larger screen okay um more more space to view so essentially what we did was we added the hide nav bar so now you have the full screen available to be looking at we also added the multi uh multi screen multi chart okay so essentially you go in right here you can choose whatever one you want right you can link them all up etc cetera, etc cetera. so really cool stuff here i use multi chart so it, it's really helpful for me and i know a lot of you guys do as well their uh, multi currency or multi pair is not available as of yet but it is something that we are uh, working on and will be available in the future okay one of the things that we did add as well is the session indicators right here okay so all you have to do to do that you go up into here and if you just type FX replay, these are all the custom indicators that we've built so far. So right now we have the inside bar session indicator. So the session indicator is this one here, the kill zones. Okay. And then you can edit them however you'd like. And then the TDI. Okay. So we have to build them all out manually and individually. And so of course, there are only three here as of right now, but this library will continue to build and continue to build uh, as time goes on. And so, of course, we also do have all of the traditional indicators that TradingView has, right? I mean, it's it's a ton of them if uh, these are what you guys used. So, you know, VWAP, I know is a very common one, volume, et cetera. So there's a, there's a ton here that you guys can work with uh, as well. Okay. Um, what else if you want to save your chart of course it's the same thing here as, as trading view so you're just going to click save your chart right up there and so let's just go into executing a trade okay so i'll show you how it's done basically you can click right here and you can adjust the time frame that you're skipping on so for example if i click one hour and click skip it's going to skip one hour candles so if i just turn this to the one hour right here look at this one skip one hour one skip one hour okay now what we uh added based on what you what you guys recommended was this the sync with uh, time frame with the chart so if i go up to or if i go down to 30 minutes it's going to sync it here so every time you're going to be skipping like that if you want to watch the candles develop you can just switch it to one or turn this off switch it to one minute adjust the adjust the speed right here and click play and you'll see that they start loading 
like live candles. Okay, because it's only skipping one minute at a time. So if you're looking at it on the higher time frame, you're looking at how these candles are actually developing in essentially real time. Eventually, we do not have tick data or uh, as of as of now or seconds data, but we will be uh, looking to add that in the future as well. Okay, it's something that we are working on. So just keep that in mind. As of right now, this is uh, all this is available, which is excellent. So now let's just skip forward to um, I don't know, at least a session here so we can kind of see what's going on. Let me just fast forward to 8 a.m. It'll just be nice and easier or nice and easy that way. There we go. Okay. This is 8 a.m. Sorry, this is the wrong. No, this is New York. So I have to change the session indicators because clearly they're at the wrong times um, for right now. But to do that, you just go into here. You click the gear icon and you change these. These are going to be in UTC timing. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to translate the UTC timing to your wherever you are, right? Wherever your whatever charting timing you use. And then you convert that into UTC. You put in the times here and then you're good to go. All right. So let's just say that we're trading this right here. All right. Let me just fast forward. And let's just see. I'll get in just an example right here. Okay, say we're say we're gonna go, say we're gonna go long right here. Again, no idea why, but let's just say we are. All right. So basically, what we, what we have to do is just this. We want to put in a position at market. We click, we click place order. Okay. You can say buy limit, buy market, right? And then also the buy stop is there as well that we added. All right, and essentially it's going to calculate your risk right here you can adjust it to our fixed preset ones it tells you your estimated loss estimated profit etc. Um, if not, you have a specific risk uh, level that you want to put in you just type or you can just type it in right here okay. So just like that boom and then you're done now I put it in and now it executes at market. All right now what we're going to do is we're just going to skip on the one minute candle and let's see how it goes. Okay, let's actually skip five minutes. Let's see if we can get stopped out. There we go. Okay, we get stopped out. So now what you can do is you can see right here, look at we lost basically a thousand dollars. All right. If I just pull this this up right here, you can see in our close positions, you have all of your details here, which you can then export later on, which I'll show you how to do uh, in the data section. Okay, but that's essentially it. Let's take one more trade here. So you guys can see the opposite side. We'll say shorts. Okay, and say I want to set a limit. Same thing. We'll put our limit right here. And we'll put our stop above here and we'll take it back down to here okay so we click on the position size calculator you click place order you click limit it's immediately set to limit so you don't have to worry your last uh, risk will will uh, sustain right it'll remember that last risk balance that you put in there you go and so now it's all set up you wait to get tagged in Okay, and so say now we want to go to break even, we move our stop down like this. Okay, or you can just click right here where it just it'll just go break even. Okay, and then if you want to take out some uh, of your position, you can do this. I like to leave it on the, the percent of the left amount of the position, because essentially that's you're taking out 50% of what's left on the actual position. So say I take out 50% right here. Okay, and then you will have to load the next candle. There you go. Okay, don't worry, it'll adjust. Okay, so now, again, you want to take it out again, so I'll click it again, and it'll say 50% of what's remaining. Okay, so it'll close out 50% of what's remaining. If I put it on 50% of the original position, that would close the rest of the position, right? Because there, I already took off 50%, and there's only 50% of the original position remaining. So I just like to leave it on this and just take out partials as I go. Okay, so we'll take out another 50% of what was remaining on that position, and let's see if we get stopped at a break even. Perfect. Okay, we get stopped out. We can take it off. Boom. So that's basically it for the actual interface and what you're executing on and everything like that. Okay, we can open up the nav bar again, go back to our testing, right, our, our dashboard, and we can look at the data. Now, I'm going to use a different, a different, um, a different session here. Sorry because this one doesn't have too much data on. And I wanna show you how we actually use the data to actually impact our trading in a positive, in a positive manner. 
Okay, so you can see here's one of the, the performance here after 97 trades, basically a 50% win rate almost, right up 36%, okay? But you can see, we can see our, our data, we can see at what months, which months are gonna be our best performing, et cetera, et cetera. We can also filter this now to our days. So we can say, how do we perform on Mondays? Well, my, my Monday is actually a significantly higher win rate, right out of the 20 trades, 60% of them win. So that's really good. Tuesday, what is it like? 30%, so it's kind of a lower day and it's actually not so profitable. It's basically break even. So maybe that can be insightful in the future to say, hey, you know, is it even worth it to take trades on Tuesday? Potentially that might be something I can look into, okay? Wednesdays. You can see very profitable on Wednesdays, 55% win rate, 16% gain, 22 trades, gorgeous. Okay, negative Thursdays. Again, if these are negative, perhaps it's not worth it to be trading Thursdays, right? If it's negative, I can cut trading out Thursdays based off of data, right? Based off of data. It's not based off of anything else. It's based off of how I execute my strategy in my trades on these specific days, right? And so this is very, very, very impactful in your trading. Okay, we have Friday, very, very profitable, 70% win rate, 13% uh, increase on the account in total in only 10 trades. So very, very profitable. You can see the equity curve. Okay, and so that's it, right? So we see all the days combined. These are all them, but you can you can break them down in a granular fashion and analyze your, your stats as they should be analyzed. And so what we can look for here is our average risk to reward. Okay, so this is exactly that, the average of our risk to reward. Our max risk to reward is basically the what FX replay, FX replay will do, okay? Um, or sorry, sorry, that's gonna be the max ideal. This is the max one that you hit, okay? Now, max ideal is going to look at trades in the future. So say, for example, you close out a trade, FX replay will look in the future to see how far did that trade go in your favor or did it go back against you, et cetera. So this is the max that, one of my trades went, it went 25.31R within, you know, sometime in the future. I believe it's 10 weeks, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And so essentially it'll look 10 weeks in the future and it'll see how far did that trade go? The max was 25R. So my ideal average risk to reward is telling me that I have a 4.5 ideal average, meaning that the average of my trades, I should let them go to at least 4.5R because majority of my trades end up going the ideal average 4.5 R, right? So this is really good data. It says, hey, I'm closing off trades potentially too early here, right? So this is really good to know. Again, could could have a profit, uh, profit or, or break even. So essentially if price or if your trade gets to 1.5 R or more, and then it went back down to take you out at, for a loss, this is going to tell you that you had 14 could be profit or break evens. So at this point, you can say to yourself, wow, I lost 14 trades that could have been break even based on it going 1.5 R. And now maybe that's something that that you you need you need a price to go a little bit further than 1.5 R or whatever. This is there's going to be a point where all of this is going to be manually input for your specific necessities. However, as of right now it's 1.5 R. And so you can start to see here that your max ideal RR on these ones is going to be 4.65 as well. But again, you could have avoided 14 losses there and took potentially 14 break evens or so on and so forth, right? So so very interesting uh, data right here that we could use. Again, all of this is, ba is, is quite basic, right? The average RR, it's up there. Trade duration, the total trades taken, the account age, so you can see how many days you've back tested, your total winners, your best win, your average win, uh, your total losers, your worst loss, your average loss, and your average duration. So you can see my, my winning trades are, are longer, six hours versus 35 minutes. So I get stopped out very quickly or I you know have a, a longer uh, duration trade. Okay, and then we can get our performance by day. You can start to see again, Tuesdays are underperforming. Okay, Thursdays seem to be performing decent over here and so on and so forth. Okay, sorry, sorry, not Thursdays, Wednesdays are the best and Fridays are the best. Look at the losses versus the wins. Great. Uh, Thursdays are the worst and Tuesdays are the worst, right? So these are potentially days that I can cut out of my trading and look at how much I'd be saving in, in, in wins and losses, right? So you have to do that with your strategy. You have to analyze and say, where is the fault of my strategy? Where are the faults of my strategy? And then create workarounds for those, right? And, and actually listen to the data, right? And now I can see, okay, well, trades by session. I can go into New York. How many trades are there in session uh, per se or in the session? 46.38, right? That's the win rate, okay? So the 46% in New York, 47 out of session in London, 
is 66%. So really incredible, these ones here. Okay, so I can say to myself, well, maybe I should just stick to uh, trading London. Maybe I should just stick to trading New York. Maybe I should trade out of session, which is going to be like London close-ish uh, time, right? Total trades taken. Majority have been taken in New York, 69. How many trades have been taken in, in London? Three. How many trades taken outside of, uh, outside of session? 23, okay? So you can start to see your maximum, your maximum RR in New York, London, and out of session. Your profit that you made, right? Your profit, 31R. Three, three. Okay, so very interesting data, and it's heavily, heavily, heavily helpful. And if you're trying to improve as a, as a trader in trying to gather information on your strategy, right, and how well you perform, you as the individual, you as the business owner, right, because it's in, you can look at someone else's strategy and and, and what they um, what they do and what their strike rate is and what this and what that, but. It depends on how you operate because at the end of the day it's your business and, and so you have to make adjust, adjustments based off how how well you operate right and that's it so if i click export right here i can export to my utc time zone or local time zone just like that let's go save let's open it up in excel all right so basically you can export everything that you need and you can do further analysis on, on your own, right? I don't have um, Excel, like I don't have it purchased, but you can see here that this is all of the information that it comes with, okay? This is all the information that it comes with right here. So you can see your start date, end date, your PNL, which, what did you do, buy or sell, your entry price, exit price, max TP, ideal EP, uh, TP, sorry, the amount, the amount closed. And so that's gonna be the, the, the nominal value of the position or the, the instead of lots, it'll say the, this, right? That's the actual amount of dollars or, or yen or whatever that you actually purchased. And then how long, how many days, the close, uh, average price, and then the risk to reward. Okay, so you get a really a, a ton of information here that you could manipulate in Excel and you can start really doing some deep analysis for your own, right? Just with FX replay. So that is about it, guys. That's basically everything that we've added, everything new, everything uh, is set. So I hope you guys got a ton of value out of this and I hope you guys really like it. If you want, please go down. There's gonna be a link in the description to the actual website. Go ahead and start up. And uh, we have a five day free trial running. So go ahead and start that, see if you like it. If not, no harm, no foul, but at least give it a try and start to really work on your strategy and really start putting in the effort to build and become a profitable trader. This is a great way to do it. And it's, you know, it's, it's created by traders for traders. We knew exactly what there was, what was lacking in this market. And we hope that we can provide a product and service that allows you to refine your edge and become the best version of yourself that you can be. And that's ultimately all we want. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you on FX replay. Cheers.